Hey, love bugs. It's Riles going back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm going to put some eye drops in my eyes because my eyes are getting so, oh, oh, I'm sleepy. Um, but anyways, you know, to my, my returning subs, my beautiful, you know, extended family, as well as the newbies, you know, my beautiful extended family as well. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. And so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already, go ahead and drop me a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, and if you feel like the videos just give you good vibes and you would love to share that with another person as well, you know, please go ahead and do that. You know, I'm greatly appreciated. It probably even taking me even higher. So with that being said, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. And this one's called, um, excuse me. It's like you're seeing your, uh, seeing your, as you're seeing self acceptance through a whole new state of mind, you know, you're accepting yourself on how far you have come. You know, a lot of times we, you know, we critique ourselves and we're very brutal. You know, it's like, oh, I can't stand that. So, you know, it's like I got one eyebrow higher than the other one, you know, they're all up in here and stuff like that. But you have to be able to accept that. <laughs> you know, you had a unibrow in a whole new different way. You're very unique with that. You know, it, it can probably bring you some talent, you know, something like that. But, you know, you have to accept yourself, you know. Um, I used to be very brutal to myself about a lot of different things on how much you know what I went through has really changed me you don't really change me you know I used to be very active I used to be you know I used to be you know a, 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 a exercise bureau now it's like I, ugh, I hate it you know and I hate it you know but it was just like um my situation you know I've told people I, I was an emotional eater you know I still struggle with that every now and then um but I had to be able to accept myself like girl you done been through a lot you, you know a lot of things was hidden to you a lot of things was lied about and you, you had to deal with that the best way you know how you know and I have to really tell myself that girl I'm proud of you you know my girl I'm so proud of you because if that old Rosalind came out you be doing probably, you know, life, you know, life sentence in San Quentin, some daggone where, you know, federal prison, something, you know, but it, it was just like universe and God as well as myself have different plans for me, you know, and that was a lot for me to be able to accept. And it's just like, love yourself in every way, accept yourself in every way. You know, it, you have to be easy with yourself because you're becoming something that's hard for you to even fathom, hard for you to even, you know, grasp the concept of what those pro the, the process of progress that is taking place into your life is is you becoming something you're your own enigma you you know a conundrum you were just walking around with a big question mark over your head you know i'm not talking about like the thing off of green lantern either but you know you, you just walk around because nobody can't get you you know, especially if you're a type of person that you transform by the day. You know, I have people who are like, oh, you used to do this. Man, shoot, I was, I even changed from yesterday. I said, that's the old side of me. You know, if you want to go ahead and keep projecting that side of me, I don't even, you know, that's just like robbing a house. I don't even live in it anymore. You can go ahead and do that all you want to. You know, it's like, you don't know who's going to be living in that house and what they got behind that closed door. You can better quit playing. But... You know, you're going through different things. You're supposed to look at yourself and say you're proud of yourself. Even though you may be stumbling on a lot of different things right now. You know, but you are allowing yourself to face things the way you best way know how. You know, the you know, universe will constantly tell you, you know, you have to find different ways of getting your work done. You have different days, different, different ways to, you know, push yourself through that process. You know, there's a lot of times, you know, with us as empath. We suffer with a lot of manic depressing, uh, the manic depressive, um, depression, depression, you know, um, ADD, ADHD, you know, OCD, PTSD, you know, all those different things um, in our lives. And that's not easy to be able to do. You know, um, you're having a whole new, you know, state of mind of how you see yourself, how you see your world, how you see your purpose. You know, there's different ways that, you know, even when I'm in my videos, I have visions of different things of seeing how much I've changed, you know, in the last few years of doing my videos. You know, um, there's a lot of people that have seen me, you know, evolve in so many different ways. It's been with me for a long time and I just want to love y'all. I appreciate y'all for that. And it's like Christine, and, you know, Val. Uh, what, who else? Annie, um, goodness, Al Alex, you know, you've been with me for a while, St. Anger, 
you know, <laughs> from the UK, you know me over there, you know y'all been with me for a long time and you see how much I've changed a lot in my life and you know bringing that purpose you know it was a lot that I had to accept about myself I, I just d got disgusted with it, you know and it's you know it reminds me of that song um by Christina Perry like talking about tiny victories that song that girl I love that girl she's an empath just like us you know she has beautiful songs I loved her all the way from um that song a thousand years you know it's a twin flame song um she had on Twilight and it was like arms and words uh, yeah it was one name uh, Tiny Victory in a song called Arms and um, and the words I think that's what it's called it was like a few of her songs that I really truly resonate with and she's you know and she says you know um, uh, you know even though there's a battle I can still pick my sword up off the ground and that's so true you know you deal with constant battles you may be having different um addictions of afflictions that you're really trying to push through and it's hard you know like I, I tell people you know if you're an empath that didn't have any kind of addictions you know and I always tell people addictions does not have to deal with be drugs or alcohol it could be how you talk to yourself how you treat yourself there's people out there that self-harm um there's people that there's out there that have eating disorders you know from the you know the trauma they constantly face that you know we don't is I'm not saying that everybody's like that, but there's a lot of us that has to go through some kind of coping me mechanism to deal with what we face a lot of times, what we're trying to heal from. Because you're, you're facing a battle that a lot of people don't know about. You know, you're going through a lot of different things that you don't speak on. You know, you can tell people, I'm fine, fine, fine. You know, but when that door closes, you a whole hot mess. You know, I, I forgot what movie I was watching where this woman, she was going through so much and she kept telling everybody she was fine. You know, I'm okay. You know, like, well, girl, you don't went through this and this and that. I think I was like, I dozed off from it. And I don't remember what movie it was. But when I woke up, you know, she kept on telling everybody she was fine. And, you know, and she's like, well, you know, I'm heading to bed. You know, I'll talk to y'all later. It was just, when you can have a blessing of having people that can be there for you, even through your rush, roughest times, you know, that's beautiful. You know, but there's a lot of times that you try to stay strong because you don't want people to know how bad you're suffering you don't want people to know you're breaking inside you know we good for doing that like oh i'm fine and you know and they say that's the worst thing you can ever do you know if it's different if it's an enemy who's looking forward to see you suffer I'm like yeah i'm fine you know go through things that every, like everybody else do but when you can have people that really worry about you and you you be like i'm okay but as soon as that door closes you a whole hot mess you just start breaking down and crying you know doing those different things and you know it, it's normal you know, there's a lot of people that are going through that. But you're accepting yourself and saying, you know, I'm not the person I was. You know, this situation has really changed me. And not realizing it changed me for the better. You know, it has me a lot. That, you know, because a lot of times we can go through tragedies and it can keep you locked up in a box. Like you don't want people to touch you. You don't want nobody to say nothing to you. You get real frigid. You can't be around uh, crowded, you know, a crowd of people. Um... Or you can allow that to be that type of thing um, that gives some kind of life worth meaning to you. And, um, oh my God, it reminded me of when I was watching. I was watching the documentary. I don't know what took me to go watch that again. Because it's, it's still, to this day, it just don't feel real. I was watching the 9-11 uh, documentary. And they were talking about this. I forgot there was this one woman named uh, Darcy. Marcy or Darcy. I can't remember her name. But it was like, you know, you're seeing different things because it was when I was reading on all the different articles they had, there were certain things that I never knew about, you know, and I was all up in my feelings about it. I'm like, why the heck did you do that? You already know how you get that's it. Anybody, you know, seeing something like that. And, you know, when I had family, you know, that was there during that stuff. And, it, you know, it just wrecked my nerves because I remember my brother. He was going into the building when that happened, and I heard all that stuff going on in the background. I just didn't know when the phone call, you know, just dropped. And just went, it took me back to that moment. And, um, you know, there was, they took pictures of different things that was coming out. I don't know how they could do that because I, I you know, that was a lot that was going on that day with a lot of people in New York, you know, and being able to do that and it was this one woman she was in shock like her mouth was wide open she just standing there and you didn't know what was going on with her like you know you can you don't even want to imagine you know but it's just at that time 
I know how it impacted us to watch that. There was like a train wreck that you, you're like, no, this ain't real. This is not happening. You know, this used to be a landmark of, you know, you between that and the Hudson River and the Brooklyn Bridge, you know, those are landmarks that you see all the time in movies. And then you just seeing this whole, these two buildings coming down. And then you see her in these pictures and she's just covered in dust. There's a black lady just covered in dust and she's just standing there. And she didn't realize that her picture was on Time Time Magazine. You know, and she was like, I didn't know people knew me. But she was so terrified. You know, she's like, I don't want that type of attention in my life. The people that caused this, is they're still out there. They never caught them. You know, and it, it was something that, you know, she didn't realize that she, you know, because I was just like, how, you know, she was like, how did I do something big? I just don't understand. But then it was just like, when you put yourself in a different state of mind, it's like you, even though you got out of a most devastating, you know, heartbreaking situation where it is, it cost many people their lives, you actually made it out. And there's a lot of people that didn't make it out of that situation. And, um, she she was looked at a hero for a long time and then she felt you know it was hard for her to get out from that tragedy it was hard for her to be around people if she heard gunshots is like you know it could be celebration like not gunshots but you know um fireworks and stuff like that she she coped with a lot of ptsd there was a lot of people that that helped you know through the different precincts that they had that there was a lot of people after that moment you know, they retired like, uh, uh I, I can't, this is just something that, you know, you couldn't, there, there's nothing you could do. There was a whole lot of people that were there that felt helpless, that couldn't do anything. But it was like, the more I read about it, you know, and God rest her soul, the lady, uh, Marcy, she passed away of cancer because of that situation. I guess it's like the, the debris and everything that she got, you know, she, 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 um, ended up having some kind of cancer and she passed away, but she was in the midst of, uh, making her own, uh, memoir of what she was facing at that day. And her daughter right now is, um, trying to get something together to make sure she can still go ahead and, and live that out through her mom and she was just so proud of her mom for everything she's gone through and it's just like you 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 accepting yourself you know that's why it made me look at miss um miss marcy in that way i think his name is marcy miss darcy I, I apologize up there i'm so sorry but you know i was reading that and i i just start bursting out into tears because it's just like you don't know what people are facing at that time. You don't know what kind of trauma has emotionally scarred them. Like this woman couldn't, you know, she was just like, mom, let's go here, you know, and she really trying to push her mom out the door. And she's like, baby, I can't, you know, and she was an active mom. She was outgoing and stuff like that because it's like the way the girl was saying it. I think she, her mom worked over in one of the towers and stuff like that. And so it was like everybody was, you know, the people that got out of there start pulling their kids out of school and had to turn all the TVs off because it was all over the place. But, you know, she just didn't know what was going on. You know, she didn't know if her mom made it out. You know, and her mom finally got home after, you know, evaluation and everything. She got home the next day. But she said she wasn't ever right after that. But she she started getting back to herself. And I'm like, after you live a life like that and you really have faced something in that, that you know, in that type of situation, you'll never be the same. And that's just like any of us. If you, you know you have gone through something that has changed you. And it's like, why don't you get back to normal? What is normal? <laughs> you be looking like, what is normal? You start analyzing every word. Like, what is normal? What is closure? You know, you don't, you don't get that, that. You don't go back to you. It changes you. It can either change you for the better or it can change you for the worse. You know? And it is like... You're, it gives you meaning and that woman you know she was like she was living in fear for a long time you know and it was just like when I seen her I could understand where she was coming from I'm like but you you don't even look nothing like you know when you seen her it was like two different people because when you think I mean when you looking at her it, it looked like she was a statue you know and but you can tell that she was just in shock she didn't understand what was going on you're trying to process that and you know and just it was a blessing, you know, and that's what really touched my heart. And she's like, I didn't know I can impact somebody's life in that way. And you were a hero. You know, you made it out on a lot of different things that other people weren't able to do. And, you know, you, you can't process that about, you know, that's why I used to always tell people I get angry when people say, I can imagine. No, you can't. 
I don't even want you to do that. Please don't do that. You know, because you don't know your your situation can really change you in that way. And it's like you can't go back to who you were because who you were is no longer existing. But you're accepting yourself. You see, you know, you know the impact of the negative that happened in your life. But then when you can place the positive in this, it, it, it ripped me to the core, but it allowed me to see myself is impure that impure truth for me not impure but pure in pure truth you know just in being 150 million proof you know into that you know you're away from the programs you're away from the fears you 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 know you're not repeating different cycles that was passed on along the family you're living in your truth you know we're those people that are breaking generational uh cycles and uh what is it generational curses and karmic cycles you're doing that and for you doing that, you will never be the same after that. Because now you're living into where you know what the truth is. You're starting off this generation where you, you have, you're unlearning to learn something that is no, not illusion. It's not, you know, fear-based. It's not limited. You know, um, un, you know, it's unlimited. It's not limited anymore to you. You know, you're, you're dissolving, um harshness anything negative was, was a pattern for you a habit or a way of thinking a way of speaking a way of you know just being yourself you're doing that and that's where you're changing that state of mind and saying you know this drastic thing has happened to me but i'm come something good from that situation i don't know how i'm gonna do it you know but it gets to that point where you know you can go through a lot of depression go through sadness go through self-pity being in that victim vibration you know but then when you say enough is a damn enough I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to have peace in my life. And you know, you have to be that one that has to do that. You know, they know what we're facing is not easy. They know what you, you deal with on a daily basis, you know. But then it's just like, I have to be able to create peace within my own way. I have to be happy and complete through my own way. I'm going to be in this vibration of clarity in my own way. You know, and it you needed to go through those different situations. You needed to be betrayed. You needed to be loved. You needed to be taught. You you know, all those different things has taught you about yourself in so many different ways. And it created a whole new state of mind of how you see your life, how you see the world. You know, how you see, you know, uh, your, even yourself is going through constant change every day. And I mean, you, you appreciate that. I give gratitude to you. You know, it took a lot to be who you are today. You know, even if, if even if your life still like feel like it's after, then you know it took a lot for you to get to where you are today because you are nowhere near, nowhere near the same person you were that first started. You're not, you know. I always got to tell myself that too. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm tired. I'm tired of going through. And it's like, girl, you are not the same person who you were. I came a long way. You can't pee outside and tell me it's raining right now. Then you can't. You know, it's like, well, maybe you know, whatever. You know, now I'm just like, mm -mm, I'm good. You're like, okay, that's your story. I'll let you tell it. You know, and you know, and I'll be like that. I'll know when something that ain't coming to me ain't coming to me right. But I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate that. Every day you get a chance to create something of a new, and you should take advantage of that. You know, whatever your flaws are, or, or were, or whatever things you're stumbling on, healing from, you know, you know, you know what you're dealing with. You know, whether it's lack of love, lack of patience, lack of belief in yourself and belief in the universe, faith in yourself, faith in the universe, confidence in yourself or in the universe, or love or forgiveness, you know, speaking positive. You know, you know what you're suffering with. No, you know, a lot of other people can tell you, but you know your truth. And then when you're allowing yourself to accept that, it changes your whole state of mind. So I hope you were able to resonate with this, y'all. I'm about to take me a break. I'm so tired. My, I don't know what's going on with me. My, my hours of sleep has really been crazy. And I slept good last night, but I'm still tired. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Like I said, y'all know I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. Uh, it's all about spiritual networking. You know, if you need help understanding what's going on with you, or if you want to know if it's normal, nothing we do go through is normal. I can go ahead and save you that question. <laughs> you know, we are we are not normal people. We are very rare. You know, a high commodity of rareness. You know, very unique. You know, and that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> you know, nobody. I was like, why would you want to be normal? Why would you want to be regular? But um, uh, we're extra of a lot. 
give you an extra of a lot. So, um, you know, I always tell people you can get in contact with me. A lot of things you don't feel comfortable with on you know, speaking on here, you know, so people hit me up on the side and I try my best to be able to help out the best way I can. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential. Uh, Julie, if you've seen this, um, if I haven't emailed you back later on today, because I know it's probably going to be an hour or two before you see this video, if you watch it, you know, I'm going to try my best to get back to you today. If not, I'll get back to you tomorrow. Um, and I hope y'all have a blessed day. You know, I know you're going through a lot of different things in your life and you're still pro probably tr just trying to find your way out the rabbit hole or even out of paper bags. You, you know, we, we all got some issues we deal with, <laughs> you know, but trust and believe you're going to get there. Trust and believe you got blessings is coming um, and just keep working hard. No, don't give up on your dreams no matter what you're going through. If you got to take a break, take that break. We get right back on that saddle. You fall off the horse, get back on the saddle. You ain't going to never know how to ride. But, you know, just trust and believe. You got big, beautiful things coming towards you. If it wouldn't, it wouldn't be hard. You know, it wouldn't be. So, just allow yourself to keep moving. It could be there as soon as you expect it. You know, um, and whatever you're manifesting on. I put so much beautiful love on you and giving you so much more than you ever expected. It, any anticipation or whatever. And, you know, it's going to be beautiful for you. So, you know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, by frequencies. You just never know. All those things, it really takes me a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Namaste.